one in the oven. The oven. No, what were we talking about before? You were talking about the... Uh... We're talking about the New York City Brisket King? Yeah, NYC, NYC Brisket King, man, at Pig Beach Barbecue in Astoria, Queens. Man, thank you to Vanessa. Yeah, thank you, Vanessa. That was, uh, that was, a, great, that was a great time. I was full until, like, lunch this morning, this afternoon. I definitely woke up full. Right, like woke up. I woke. I woke up and I. Literally, I felt heavy. But so so much so much so many different varieties of brisket, and I loved it. We had the. I I personally loved the Empire, taquito brisket. Okay, yeah, you kept talking about that. Uh, I know Avellino Family Barbecue. They actually won it all. They took Their home gold, brisket right? was that was you know, just your classic brisket. Uh, that that bun though was I don't Stupid. know what was yeah I don't know Stupid. what that bun had on it, but that was crack. Uh, they came away with number one. Maybe it was crack. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? You're, so you're on the backwoods heavy right now? That's all you smoke now? Who got you into that? So Rob got me into the backwoods. Rob, got you. Rob doesn't yep. even smoke. Can we say Rob smokes on you? Yeah, we can. Uh, she, <laughs> knows? <laughs> she knows? She knows. She knows. <laughs> yeah, this is a backwood, man. They, uh, my boys over at Neighborhood Gardens, they uh, they hooked this up. They got a, It's a three-gram blunt. Wow. Nice little pre-roll for you. It's just like fat nugs in here, and it, it, it burns. It might burn this whole episode. That would be pretty cool. Free smoke, free smoke. Huh? How about you? Uh, I know you've been dying to bring up that that Drake nonsense going on. Man, the rap beef, man. It's like the rap infinity wars right now. I, I almost feel like it's you know something that we, that we almost like needed in the rap game. You agree with that? I don't know if we need it. I think we have enough people beefing and dying and... Shit like that. I don't know if it's necessary, but I feel like it's been a minute. If you know, if if you got nothing else going on in your life and you want to get involved in other people's drama, sure, yeah, we need it. <laughs> well, I guess that's where fucking I'm at then. Cheese and rice. You know, Franco didn't go to work again today, so it was raining, bro. What do you want me to do? I can't go outside when it's raining. Doesn't go on Fridays. Doesn't go when it's raining. Doesn't go when he takes off. I mean, when do you go to work? <laughs> the best part is I don't have to take off. It, it rains every Thursday now. It makes no sense. April showers. <laughs> Literally, though, every Thursday. But, yeah, no, this rap beef is, is pretty nuts. Have you been keeping up with it at all? Zero. I, I just knew they were beefing. I mean, you know, a quick synopsis. I got things going on in my life. Did, bro, I can't believe you keep turning down this whole rap. The rap beef is huge right now. What do I care about what's going on? That's like the people who watch Kim K. Like keep it over the Kardashians. It's what? Do, although no, I have to tell you, I gotta tell you honestly right now, because I know, God honest truth, sometimes that is one show. I don't really watch TV often. But that's one show where sometimes if I'm scrolling through the channels, I stop and I find myself randomly watching. Keeping up with the Kardashians? Yeah, I haven't watched it in, in like a couple of years, but that used to be like randomly. That's what I would. But that you're basically you're you're concerned about keeping up with the Kardashians of the rap game right now. Why do I care about that? It's so different. It, it like matters in like everyday it's life. It's new, it's new music that's coming out. That doesn't matter in every. Not, has nothing to do with my everyday life. It it's the music that is on in the background of my in my car every day is music that these guys have been putting out. It doesn't mean I need to know what's going on in their lives, bro. I, Sometimes, sometimes with you, I really just don't understand like where your mind is at. I just, why? Why? No, it, it's like. It's why like, do I have to care? No, really, for real. What? It, it's See, like, Rob's agreeing with me no, over there. Not, no, 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 he's not. No, say it. Say the shot. Because who wants to listen to you guys? Oh, he said he wants to listen to us. Yeah, but we're talking about life. I know, but th that is life. What's going on with Drake? I don't give a shit. It's not just Drake. It's Future, Metro, Boomin, Kendrick, J Cole. Oh. Yeah, it's everybody. Sorry, it's not. Okay, go on. So, sorry, please. it's not. Sorry, it's not Mount Joy. Please, like, please, please, tell me, tell me. This kid's listening to Mount Joy the whole way home. He's like, yeah, it's gonna be a. Yeah, but he's like, hey, no, no. he's like Mount Joy June. It's gonna be a mushroom fest at MSG. He's sick, dude. No, but, <laughs> but that, yeah, I care about that shit. Get out of here with no, that. No, no, that's that's <laughs> Mount that, Joy. That's music. I care about their music. I don't give a shit who's beefing with who. It's the music though. They're making they're making songs. The song like that that you probably love. It, it's 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 direct beef. It's what started all this. I mean, regardless, at this go, point, go on, so I can no, sleep, no. so I can sleep tonight. Please tell no, me what's no, going it's, on. No, no, it's whatever, man. Don't even worry about it. All, all I all I have to say is it, I, it it feels to me like this is like the rap Infinity Wars. Okay. 
and like obviously oh. Drake being Thanos. And again, I guess this is nothing. This is something you don't have any interest in because you, know, you don't you don't like the movies. I don't. I, I don't. I I can I can appreciate though you uh, you know assigning them characters. I can. I don't. I'm not into those movies, but go on. You know I'm a Wonder Woman guy. That's not. That's <laughs> not. That's the other one. <laughs> DC. Yeah. Marvel, whatever. Same shit. Same shit. <laughs> but no. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start off with you. At least you know these guys. But I'm gonna start off with Captain America. Um, I gotta go ASAP Rocky here. Lord Pretty Flacco Jody. Like, pretty boy of the group. One of my personal favorites. Uh, J. Cole, I'm gonna assign Doctor Strange. Cause, so Dre Cole came out with a song. Dre Cole? Uh, Dre Cole. <laughs> J. Cole came out with a song dissing uh, Kendrick and apologize. You already apologized for it, right? Which is like, you know, Beanie Siegel he, apologizing he apologized to 50. Pretty quickly. Yeah, quick. And he apologized, I feel like, because everyone just thought it was the trash song. But I feel like I don't know if he would have apologized, but he knew the ending. He knew it was going to happen. And then he wound up trading sides. He's Doctor Strange. The weekend, I don't know how he got pulled into this. It, it's something like with him and Drake like going back like years and years. Um, I'm going to give him Scarlet Witch because he, he just reminds me of her and puts on absolute show. Scarlet Witch is The weekend. How do you like that? I mean, I don't know who else to give The weekend. Thor, I'm going with Future. He's petty toward Drake. He chops off Thanos' head at the end of Endgame before getting any info. Just kept it all, nah, like, kept everything nah, to you himself. Now you the movies for me. Now I'm never you gonna watch you, you, them, you, You're 32. You weren't gonna watch them anyway. Come on, bro. They've been out for years, dude. Spider Man. That's probably my personal favorite. Um, Metro Boomin shooting the webs. Doesn't really make. He just makes the beats. Has no words, no lyrics, something like that. Um, this is this is this one's like a little bit of a reach, but Ant Man, Rick Ross. They look obviously the. The size difference means nothing. But Brick's been just going at Drake all week. All week. He's, he's hilarious, just like Paul Rudd. So I'm going Ant-Man. And last but not least, Loki, your boy Kendrick Lamar. But he, he's not always there, but when he is, he's an absolute moose. Okay. So I had to go with those guys. I left out Iron Man because I feel like he's like DJ Khaled bringing everyone together. I like that point. I saw it in your nose, actually. Every, that that was probably my... I mean, obviously, Drake is Thanos in the situation, mm -hmm. right? But the DJ Khaled, that was a great point. ASAP Rocky as Captain America. I don't really think of Captain America when I think of ASAP Rocky. I do like Future as the... As Thor. As Thor. I like that. Heavy hitter. Um, honestly, I, I probably would have made Rick Ross... Captain America in this situation. You think so? Yeah, like when I think Captain America, I think of like someone on the forefront. I and I, I think, well, Asap Rocky is probably one of the best ever. Nah, he's overrated, that guy. Oh my God. Um, but I, and I also left out the Hulk, who I think is the GOAT of the whole group. Kid Cudi's not involved, so I figured I would leave the Hulk out of this situation until he is. So we had that, uh, that we guest bartended, we guest bartended at Ridgewood Station Tavern in Wanta last week. Thanks again to them. Thanks to Eric, Mike. Uh, great time over there. Uh, thank for you for sure. everyone who came out, to, who supported us. We really appreciate it. Um, you know, me and Franco, with the Oven Podcast. All right, we sit down. These are our mini ovens. We like to have THC-infused dinners with our, you know, huge guests that we have on. For sure. Uh, we appreciate all the subscribers. Keep hitting that subscribe button. Keep sharing. Keep commenting. Keep liking. We appreciate you all. Um, but the old man that I work with, Bill, he peed his pants on the drive home from the uh, the bar. <laughs> oh, my God. How far was the drive? He told me. I, he said I gave him too many beers. He lives five minutes away from the bar. And Bill just peed on <laughs> He peed his pants. <laughs> yep. Yes, that's the same... That's the same old man that slips the toilet paper up his ass crack. We talked about him a few months ago <laughs> when he's got the shits. He <laughs> leaves the man. toilet paper up there just in case. He didn't have to find enough. He's got Mario. Yeah, the worst part is the whole, the whole county watches this. And boys <laughs> just getting crushed. They, listen, thanks to the county because yeah, they real. showed out that day. Hats off to you guys. For they real. Thank that was God awesome. for them. That was great. Speaking of the county, well, the town more, uh, the leisure passes are out. And I really did give it a, like a solid thought, like to go get the leisure pass and go to Acorn Lane Pool when it gets nice out. What, is it now? My question: Is it weird if I go to Acorn Lane Pool, the public pool, to swim laps? 
Yes. <laughs> As selfish. So well, well, there's right, other right. people at the pool. Yo, like, I can understand. Is, uh, is there is there a designated section? There's a designated. Yeah. Section. What do you mean? You okay, I don't, I don't go to public pools, so I, I don't know. The public pool hasn't changed. It's been the same since we we're six years old. You think I remember? But I mean, if there's a designated section, he's, he's like I mad, agree with you. He's like mad at something tonight. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is. If there's a designated section, I agree with you. So like it's, but it, I think it would be weird if I was just going to the public pool, just like go sit in the pool. Like I, I need a like it's gonna get nice out. Like it was hot the other day, and the only I got done with work, and the only thing I think about was like, man, I wish I had a pool in my backyard. You used to. That, that was a puddle. That, was, <laughs> that wasn't really a pool. <laughs> that was always cold too. You remember? They had never got any sun. That thing was freezing cold. Oh, that's so weird. I, I, I felt the coldness of his pool when he just said that. That freak, That's freaking me out. But why? Are you going to start swimming laps? Well, I used to love doing it at, at uh, Eisenhower. But just a trip to Eisenhower and back it just annoys me every day. And the, uh, the pool is literally right around the corner. I figured, why not? Why, yeah, that's right. Literally, you could walk there. But, like, I feel like we know lifeguards and be like, yo, why is Franco here swimming laps? Like, Fuck them. You swim laps. You're better than yourself. Is that a word? <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah, it is now. <laughs> it is. <laughs> you want this? Yeah. Uh, I want to jump quick to Caitlin Clark. We spoke a little bit about her last time. Sure. Then, you know, she got signed, drafted by the Fever. Yep. Uh, and now, over the next four years, she's going to make a combined $338,056. And a lot of people are complaining about her salary. And I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't care. Shut the fuck up. She's making what she's making. If there were more people were interested in the WMA, then they get paid. Yeah, for sure. Stop bitching and complaining. I I get it. I, I listen. If you're looking to be the CEO and I'm looking to be the CEO and we're a man and a woman and we're equal in talent and what we bring to the table, we should be paid the same amount of money. But throw her in the NBA. And she ain't even making one of the teams, so forget it. Don't, I don't want. Don't compare what he makes to what she makes. The WNBA is not the NBA. Get the fuck over it. Okay. I don't care. The rant over. Yeah. Um, no one ever said the WNBA is the NBA. I, the the people are upset with what she's making because it doesn't reflect how good of a player she is. But they're not taking into effect the ticket sales and what the, what, the te- what the team is actually what the team actually is worth. But. That being said, Caitlin Clark just signed a Nike shoe deal, so like she's fine, she's good. She's she got a Nike shoe deal because she is Caitlin Clark, but it's huge for WNBA, man. People are starting to talk about their salaries, and then they're taking it serious. This, you know, it's it's something good to see. It's definitely it's definitely a huge sport in New York, so you can't take your foot off the gas with that one just yet. I know you're just, you're against it for some reason, but no, I'm not against. No, no, I I. I I love the fact that you go to Liberty Games and you enjoy it. Like, that's great. Like, I, I, and even we sat down with Fuego Base a few year, a few weeks ago, and we were talking about how the girls actually play basketball. Yeah. Yep. They, the, the fundamentals are sound. They, you know, athletically, they simply can't do some of the things that the men can. You know, as much as people want to deny it, yeah. Males are superior physically to females. Yeah. And and, and, and and anyone who denies that, you can cancel me now. I don't give a shit. <laughs> no, you can't. Okay? No, it's true. I mean, it, it, they just they can't put on the muscle mass and, and the fast twitch fibers that the men put on and, and, and gain in their body. So, you know, again, I appreciate the WNBA. But enough with the comparing and the equality and all that bullshit. I'm yeah, over. It's, I'm it's but it's always gonna, it's always some shit like that, you know that. It's if it, always if it's always going to be something like that. If they were in the same league, I'd entertain the argument, but I, they're not. I, and I'm I I let this slip for a, for a second, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. Kalen Clark might most definitely would make one of the NBA teams. May maybe start in the G League to, like to test it out, but she is 100. She's a shooter, bro. If you could shoot like that, you could play anywhere. Oh, especially in WNBA. There's no, in, in the NBA, there's no defense. So she's, I mean, if they're going to lock her down like they like UCLA did, or Florida State, rather, like uh, USC, Jesus Christ. Yeah, like, of course. But I don't know. Yeah, speaking of NBA, in WNBA, you see Jonte Porter betting against 
himself. That's a that's a he's a scumbag, dude. Like I, it's you know, for it's a guy like so Pete bad. Rose who claims that he 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 I can't even get the words out that he bet for his team and yeah. for himself, make your money. You know what I mean? But, I don't I don't care. Boxers but bet like, on themselves all the time. But to to bet against yourself? Bro, this guy was betting. But so they came out and the investigators came out and said it wound up being like seventy five thousand dollars or something like that, like seventy six thousand, a little bit over. And his net winnings was like only twenty two thousand. So I go, you know, I mean, to ruin your reputation for twenty two grand is nuts in itself. But he's saying that he didn't bet on on any games that he played in, bro. He was apparently betting on games like on his unders. Would say like he got sick right before like tip off. Of course you're not playing that game. You said you were sick, or you said your eye hurt. Like it was th- th- that was another like reason is eye irritation. I'm like, dude, it, it almost makes it almost makes you think like, is sports gambling good for sports? Because you, the the team itself is not the teams itself and the league itself are not making any money off the sports book. If if I'm correct, so I, is I it good? For, is it good or bad for sports? Because I mean, you got this guy betting against himself. Who else is who else is doing it now? Who uh, next? Investigate the NBA referees. I mean, the oh, NBA referees Porter. Have, has, have already been caught. In the past, like do that. Jonte Porter is just like a, like all right, see you later, banned for life. Now let's get at the referees. Let, let's clean the game up. But it's, betting, gambling is gambling is everywhere now. You everywhere. know, it's like how how can you clean it up? And to answer your question, I think gambling is absolutely great for sports. You have people who don't watch games. Unless they're betting. Unless they're betting. Yeah. How many times do you hear somebody say, oh, "I wanted to make this one this one interesting, so I put a few bets in." You know. Yeah. Um, I think you know for the integrity of the game, and what we're seeing going on. You know, who knows if, if Otani's <laughs> telling the truth? You know, <laughs> oh, it, pays, it pays such a fall guy. Dude. You know, the biggest fall guy in history is gonna be rich the guy as took the fall. fall. Yeah, he took the fall, and he's got a bucket of cash yeah, waiting, for, waiting him. for him. He's, yeah. he's he's Bobby Schmurda in Japan, just in, yeah. in twenty five years. Yeah, he's gonna get. You can have so much cash right, waiting for him. Yeah. Integrity of the game, no. For ticket sales, viewership on TV, absolutely, gambling is great for it. But it's oh one, no, that was so bad, Rob. That's on me. That was a leap of faith. Can we was... stop throwing the fucking joints in here? Like, like every time. The Bro, that was really oh. Come on. He didn't like the Yips comment. Go on. It's a garage. It's a garage. It... <laughs> Rob goes, you're, you're coming on seats and I can't ash on the floor. Wasn't my cum. <laughs> oh, my God. So I, do you ever like return things? Like something you buy on Amazon. Do you have you do you ever return it? Honestly, it seems like such a headache. I just fucking keep it. Bro, me so <laughs> me too. Me too, but I don't want to deal with the nonsense. <laughs> so I just found out that you could just simply go to Kohl's and return it. Yes. Right around the corner. It's so simple. I so I went and I did it today. I returned the microphones that you didn't like. The little clip on with the, the magnet ones. So I returned them. And yo, it's so simple. You just walk right in. Guy slaps a sticker on it, you're out. I now I parked the truck in the parking lot. You know, Coles parking lot, huge parking lot. There was probably seven spots in front of me going towards Coles, and then every spot was open in the parking lot going towards Hempstead Turnpike. I I go in. I'm now I'm parked there by myself. I come out and there's a family getting out of their car, parked in the spot right next to me. S- five kids. I'm not kidding. Five kids. And I get I come over. They like I didn't hit the like the car or anything. I walk up. And their door is just resting on my door. Three more kids get out. I'm sitting there. I'm like, bro. <laughs> the dad looks at me. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm like, I just want to be like, bro, why did you park here? Like, there's a million spots. Like, is this a joke? I, I should have. T- I wish I would have taken a picture of it so you could see what I'm talking about. Because when I walked out, I was just like, what the f- is, what the fuck is going on here? And the seven spots closer to Coles weren't handicapped. Those were no, all no, it was all spots. it was all regular spots, all regular. So w- it's not like he was trying to save the walking. No, nothing. He some people can't park without that 
reference car next to them. That you ever notice that? Like some people, like when there's not a car next to them, they like panic about their park. I hope that's it because I'm telling you, that's I got, the only excuse that I can make for him. And even then, learn how to fucking drive. Uh, man, when I I was just so like, didn't I didn't even say anything? But like I got in the car and I was like punching the air, dude. I'm like. I could picture his face when this was all. Uh, yeah, I'm sitting. My arms on the because and, and I sat there for a solid thirty seconds waiting for these kids to get out and the dad to walk out. The dad had a cane, so he probably should have been parking handicapped. But it, now, it, now he's making assumptions about someone's disability. Well, you well, we, used to, we used to use my dad. We used to use my us, dad's cane. You could get us canceled for that. We used to use my dad's cane. You remember that? I never used it. That's bad luck. <laughs> I want to talk about the UFC really quickly. Alex Pereira. He avenged two. Of three of Glover Teixeira's title losses. Last one being that knockout of Hill last week, which mm -hmm. was crazy. And what did I say to you? As soon as that happened, they're going to set something up where he jumps up another weight class and he fights John Jones. Did they set that up? I'm already seeing rumblings on... on Instagram on social media and John Jones is the third one that he hasn't defended yet for you know he hasn't avenged another Avenger reference he hasn't avenged that loss like for Glover yet I like where you're going with this so I already told you as soon as that that UFC was over before I left your house that night I said I can see him going to fight John Jones and I want to know like what are your thoughts on that? Do you think it's going to happen? If it happens, what's the outcome going to be? I mean, it's a fight I would love to see, especially if John Jones only has one or two more left in him. But and now you're seeing that Pereira had uh, stronger punch power than Ngannou. Yeah, yeah. You know, at the UFC base, yeah. like it's just like, what else are we going to start seeing? And I mean, the, I would love to see it happen. Yeah, and I would love for Jones to knock him out. Oh, no, I would love for Jones to get knocked clean out. Not going to gonna happen. Yeah, oh, prayer is the man. Poton, baby, all day. But, no, I, again, it's a fight I would absolutely love to see. But if you set that fight up next, man, you were doing such a disservice to Tom Espinall because that fight's only going to happen if um, – what's his name? I'm drawing a blank. Who? Who? Who's Jones supposed to fight? Um – the, oh, he's supposed to fight Miocic. Yeah, so like that's a fight that's only going to happen if Stipe Miocic isn't capable of fighting. Right. You know, because like, how can you just let Pereira jump up and then bang, he fights John Jones? Tom Espinel at that point won't even have a fight for six, seven months, and he's, so, and he's the interim champ. What if the UFC has Miocic fight Espinel? Uh, I don't even know it's a fight that anyone wants to see. A filler fight until he gets to fight John Jones. If John Jones wins, if, if John Jones win. loses, round three submission. He's not even. Gonna, I said knockout before round three submission. <sighs> it's definitely a fight I'd like to see. I just, I don't know. That first round, I will tell you, that first round going to be very boring, very boring. I could see them circling around that whole first round. I, I don't. I don't think it's a fight you can see. Uh, it just. It. It. It sounds awesome. But if we're going to see it, it's going to be next year, and it's going to be an old John Jones versus a healthy, strong Poton that's going to hurt him bad. Well, how old is Poton? He's not that young, is he? But he's got to be young. He was doing like, kickboxing for a while. He's like young 30s, I think. You have your phone on you? Let's look that up quick. Let's look that up quick because now, now you got me thinking. Who do you need to know? Alex Pereira. He is... 36. 36. He's not that young He's either. Not that young either. But I would love to see it. Yeah, I mean it would be. Same age as Jones. It would be an awesome. It would be an He's awesome. He's the same fight. age as Jones. He's the same age as Jones. You're already breaking out the 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 Walker for Jones. Same age. Because he had a lot of history, you know, before the UFC yeah, the kickboxing. I, I I mean it would be interesting, man. I keep asking on myself. Before we go, I'm going to give you one joke. You got a joke for me? Yeah, one joke. Another corny one. You ready? Yeah. What do sea animals and lesbians have in common? What? They both choke on plastics. 
I, who said? Where do you, where do you find? Where do you get these jokes? <laughs> My friend Barry at work, he sends me. All he does, it, it, when, when he sends me a text, I know it's a video of either someone trying not to spit out their water at jokes or just them telling jokes. He loves it. He just loves jokes? He just loves it. <coughs> but I know you'd love to sit here and listen to Franco call all night, but we got to go. <laughs> <laughs> We're the Oven Podcast. I'm Mario. That's my Croatian co-host, Franco, a.k.a. Papa Fazul. Papa. And uh, thanks for coming. Keep it cooking in the oven. The oven. The, the, the oven. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs>